from uh, Seattle, Washington. It is time for another very special Gamers video update. I'm Steve, editor chief of PlatformNation.com, and today I'm here to bring you what is going on up in the gaming news. First bit of news, I hope you guys saw the last two videos we put up. Um, one of them is about Zach's very, very first time. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, go to my YouTube channel. It's, um, it's Steve519. Just find that, and um, you'll see a little special video I made up about Zach's first time. If you've seen it already, um, what do you guys think? Um, I spent a little bit of time doing it. I really enjoyed doing it. It was it was fun. Um, the next video I was talking about was the um, 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 UFC video I put up with BJ Penn versus uh, GSP. It is a great video about that uh, new UFC game that's coming out later on this year. And God, I can't wait for to have to play that game. I want to get my hands on that game so much. That game looks awesome. Um, any UFC fans out there, check out that video. Leave some comments. Uh, rate the video. Everything else. God, I want that game. That game is that game is hot. Hopefully, hopefully they get the controls right. That's if they get the controls even halfway decent on that game, it is going to be phenomenal. It really is. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the news. Uh, first bit of news: Platform Nation question of the week. I think I was supposed to do this every Monday, and I've been forgetting. Um, anyways, this week's question is about the Super Bowl. Um, I kind of curious what you guys thought was your favorite commercial that aired during the Super Bowl. Um, I put a couple of them up on PlatformNation.com, which I thought were really good. One of them was Bud Light Swedish, the one with Conan O'Brien with with the Bud Light bottle. That was uh, that was pretty good. And the other one was the Doritos Crystal Ball, where he's like, yeah. If if you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the video yet, you can head on over to PlatformNation.com. Or you can actually go to hulu.com slash Super Bowl. And you can actually see all the Super Bowl commercials there. Except for, I don't think you can see the G.I. Joe one. Um, which, that trailer looked, looked totally awesome. I can't wait to, I'm, I'm pumped up for G.I. Joe. I really am. Uh, when I was a kid, I watched all the G.I. Joe TV shows. And I had my G.I. Joe characters. And action figurines and everything else. So, um, I'm pumped up for G.I. Joe. I can't wait. Um, next bit of news. We'll... Um, one of our writers, um, Murphy's Law, wrote an article up on Platform Nation. Will Gears of War style controls, movement and shoot controls save Resident Evil 5? Um, kind of curious what you guys think. Go ahead and go to Platform Nation. Leave your comments on that. But there, there was a thing, a little slip up by Capcom. They said, yes, you know, it's going to be in the game. You, you're going to have the Gears of War style controls in the game. And then they came out and said, whoops, sorry, that's not true. So um, unfortunately, it's not true. I played the demo that's out there for um, for that game, and I'm not buying the game now, unfortunately. Um, I thought the game was uh, kind of... I just didn't enjoy it, honestly. Um, it looked pretty. A lot, I know a lot, it's going to please um, a lot of the Resident Evil fans. I just did not like the, the demo at all. And if the controls are like that, no matter what, how great the game is, I'm not going to like it because I just did not like the control scheme at all. Um, iPhone app of the week. Every week we're going to be doing the iPhone app of the week. This week it is Lux DLX. Um, there's a huge write up over it on platformnation.com. I'll link over to that as well uh, by Snakeman555. And um, it's a wrist style game. It looks really awesome. I'm going to have to check it out. I have this one called um, Lux Touch on my iPhone. It's a free app and it is a great game. Um, next bit of news. Today, this morning, there's a patch release. Fixing those HDMI issues. A lot of people, Microsoft says a few people, um, but it can't be a few because I was actually one of the people hit. Uh, when NXE came out, it broke my audio off my HDMI. Uh, when I had my Xbox plugged in through HDMI, I got zero audio through that son of a bitch. Zero audio. But today, four months later, I can hear again through my Xbox. So so it's great stuff there. I like to be able to play my games and hear my games at the same time. So um, if you guys did have issues with HDMI and audio, make sure you turn your Xbox on today. Update, it's free update, um, and it should fix that. Resident Evil 5 demo, breaking records. It's been downloaded over 1.8 million times, and it probably stopped 1.5 million people from buying that game. Next bit of news. Uh, EA has confirmed multiplayer, or sorry, multi platform ish. Multi platform. They, they confirmed Mass Effect 2 and Battlefield Band Company is coming to multi platforms. That's what I meant to say. Um, I kind of screwed up a little bit. So, good news there. Mass Effect 2 coming to a PS3 along with Battlefield Band Company. Great news there. Um, just, just great news. Great news. Um, all you, all you PS3 owners get to play some Mass Effect. And Mass Effect, as you 360 owners know, awesome game. Great stuff. Um, 
Next bit that I got, PlayStation Blog has a little article up right now about what makes Red Alert 3 for the PS3 the ultimate edition. They include a bunch of screenshots, huge write-up by, um, by David over there, the senior development director for Command & Conquer 3, Red Alert 3 Ultimate Edition. Uh, go ahead and check that out, some really cool stuff. Um, EA, if you do happen to watch my videos, I want to get my hands on this game as soon as I can. If you guys have a you know early build or something, Shoot me an email, Steve at PlatformNation.com. I'm a huge Command & Conquer fan. Absolutely love every Command & Conquer, especially the Red Alerts. So I want to get my hands on this as soon as I can. I really do. Um, next bit of news, Free Radical has been bought by Crytek. That's it. Free Radical has bought, been bought by Crytek. Uh, Free Radical's future was very uncertain, but rumor has it today they've been bought by Crytek, and it looks to be a very, very true rumor. The Sims 3 gets a June 3rd uh, worldwide, worldwide launch date. Um, great news for all you Sims fans out there. Um, June 3rd, you get your hands on Sims 3. It's supposed to have a bunch of cool new features. I haven't read too much about the game, but um, stay tuned for that. MLB 08 The Show. I love that game. I really do. Um, any of you baseball fans out there, you have to get MLB or 09. I meant. Um, but you have to get The Show for, um, for the PlayStation 3. The best. The best baseball game ever made, except for King Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. Um, it is an awesome game. Road to the Show, great mode. I love that game. And um, over at the PlayStation blog, they're talking about the training modes, actually, for Road to the Show. So go ahead and check that out if you guys get a chance. Over at the PlayStation blog, I'm going to link to this over at PlatformNation.com as well. Um, they got screenshots. They talk about stealing bases, the training mode, um, all sorts of cool things. Go ahead and check that out. For any of you baseball fans out there. And if you guys are baseball fans and picking up the road to the show or MLB 09, the show, um, let us know. We, know. we might try to start up a, um, a franchise with a bunch of um, bunch of fans, but a bunch of Platform Nation peoples. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, what else do I got? What else do I got? Um, I'm looking, sorry. I'm looking. It looks like that might be it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, oh, one more thing. Um, Halo Wars um, demo is coming out two more days. Two more days, the demo for Halo Wars um, on the Xbox 360. Download that as soon as it comes out, you guys. The game, I haven't played it since July. Um, I did get my hands on it at E3. The game is hot. It really is. I, hate, I love it. I want to get my hands on it even more. Two more days, demo comes out over on Xbox Live. Download that. You won't be disappointed especially if you're an RTS fan. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for news. Um, I'm not sure how long this was. Do me a favor. Leave us some comments. Leave us some um, five-star glowing reviews. Um, you, gotta, you guys got to help rate our videos. Uh, rate our videos. Leave comments. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. It really bumps us up um, as far as YouTube tube goes and everything else. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, we've had a huge bump over the last week, and we want to continue this ride. Um, so bump us up. Leave us comments, leave us ratings, leave everything, okay? All right, you guys, take it easy. Have a great week. Um, tomorrow, most likely, there will be a video review. Yes, we're doing a video review of um, Savage Moon for the PlayStation 3. Um, it's a PSN game, $9.99. You will be able to hear what myself and Zach, um, infected PB503, what he thinks of the game. Uh, so stay tuned for that. should be coming out sometime on Wednesdays. So take it easy, you guys. Have a great week. See you all later. Peace out.